In the previous video, I went over how to set up a standard folder structure and load the data into ArcMap. In this video, I will demo how to create new shapefiles. Regarding the instructions on the Humboldt State Geospatial Online website, I am currently on step 6. However, just for future reference, these numbers sometimes change and someday might go away altogether. Before I begin digitizing my neighborhood, I need to check the spatial reference for the NAPE image. Open the layer properties and navigate to the source tab. Scroll down until you see the spatial reference and make a note of which one the NAPE image uses. In this example, it is NAD 83 UTM zone 10 North. Now is a good time to set the map document properties and save your map document. Go to file and select map document properties. Check the box next to store relative path names. This setting will allow you to move your top level folder to a different location or a different computer without breaking your data. As a rule of thumb, always be sure this is turned on and you will save yourself a lot of headaches. Now go ahead and save your map document. I'm going to save it in my top level folder, Digitizing Neighborhoods. Some people like to save it into the working folder, but I like to park it right outside. As long as it is somewhere in the top level folder for the project you are working on, and you can find it later on, you should be fine. Untitled is a terrible name, and using it as a file name is a really bad habit to get into. Always give your files meaningful names. I'll call this one Digitizing Lab. Now take a moment to locate your neighborhood using the pan and zoom tools. If you don't live in Humboldt County, you can choose any random neighborhood you like. Once you find your neighborhood, create a spatial bookmark. For this activity, you should digitize a minimum of eight buildings as polygons, two roads as polylines, and 20 trees as point features. Right-click on the working folder and select New, then Shapefile. This is where most students make mistakes, so it's important not to rush the next few steps. First, type the name of the shapefile. This one will be for houses, which should have a feature type of polygon. The next step is very important. Notice that under the description it says unknown coordinate system. That's bad. You don't want to create a shapefile with an unknown coordinate system. You should always consciously decide which spatial reference system to use. To do this, click the edit button. For this activity, you are supposed to match the spatial reference system that the NAPE image uses, NAD 83, UTM Zone 10 North. To ensure that the spatial reference matches exactly, I'm going to import the spatial reference directly from the NAPE layer. Click the icon that looks like a globe. Select Import. Navigate to your original folder and select the SID file for the NAPE image. Click Add. Then click OK. Click OK again to create the shapefile. Now I'm going to repeat these steps for two more shapefiles, one for the roads and one for the trees. In the next video, I will show you how to edit a shapefile and create features.